heat from all sides over his handling of the George Floyd demonstrations. Many now calling on him to resign. Last week, former New York City mayor and President Trump's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, joined me on Mornings with Maria on Fox Business. Watch this. The mayor should step down. He is incompetent. We are losing, we, we are, we are losing a tremendous amount of property. We're seeing people damaged and hurt ser seriously. And pretty soon we're going to lose some lives if this man doesn't get out of the way and let someone activate the police department. And joining me right now, once again, is Rudy Giuliani. And Rudy, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. No signs you, that Maria. de Blasio is going to step down. Is New York safe? No. Uh, it's safer. I mean, he did he did react to uh, what I said and what the governor said and a, a number of other people. It wasn't just me that and he did activate the police somewhat, but still with a lot of uh, things that aren't being done, including things. I mean, so, some of the things he did obviously angered the left, but some of the things that he could do, for example, why isn't he using uh, policemen on horseback? Uh, I use policemen on horseback to end crime in Times Square. Uh, and uh, you just put them out, they can see in a crowd much better. They, they can easily distinguish the Antifa troublemakers and the uh, legitimate protesters. They can see within a crowd that somebody is getting ready to throw a rock before they throw it, or getting a Molotov cocktail ready. It's totally insane that he's not using it. It can't be that those police professionals aren't recommending it. They're too smart. So he, he doesn't want to do it. And I understand he doesn't want to do it because he's afraid he's going to get in trouble with the animal people. So I mean, that's the well, kind of well, guy we got sitting in City Hall. Rudy, when you look at the, the, the streets, <laughs> I mean, I mean, look it, it, up it, it, Madison it, it, Avenue, look downtown, the village in Soho, he, he boarded up. It looks like a war zone in New York. Look at this New York Times headline. The editorial board uh, of the New York Times writes this to de Blasio. Open your eyes. The police are out of control. What can Governor Cuomo do about it at this point? And, and, and Rudy, I mean, these thousands uh, on the streets of New York City for a tenth straight day in a row, how much longer can this go on? Uh, well, it can't go on for much longer. I mean, they, ha they, have, they have been peaceful. They were yesterday and they were the day before. It does put a tremendous strain on the police department. And, it's, and, the, poli and the, the idea that the police department in the New York Times, that the police department has been out of control is totally crazy. I mean, it's a complete construct of the left. It's like the hysteria they've create, created over police brutality. And, and last year, only nine black men, were, unarmed black men, were shot by police officers. Uh, Twenty white men were, and blacks were killed 99% of the time by other people, civilians. About 80% black and then everybody else. So basically, police right. brutality, well, when it happens, is shocking and terrible, but it's not at all, it's not even close to systemic. It's very rare, actually. And that's just the truth. And, and, uh, that's and, not and racist. Yet you've got this movement. You can't say that. Well, you're right, because the truth it, is, when you look it, at the numbers, it's black on black shootings, uh, really the most prevalent. Well, but there's this movement now to defund the, the police. I'm sorry? Totally crazy. Totally crazy. If, if you truly Who started care about the black defund lives, the right? police movement, Rudy, you've got you've got left lawmakers people, people, like AOC, Omar, Talib, uh, all pushing to defund the police. Celebrities like John Legend, Jane Fonda, uh, signing this open letter. What are the implications of this? What kind of services will be you know pushed in okay. if, if, if you do have this, this defund yeah. the police? The implications of this, it would be devastating for the black community, much more than the white community. They cannot care about black lives. I mean, the, the, the idea that, that, that black lives matter would want to defund the police tells you it is a phony organization. I mean, the police kill a minuscule number of black people. Other black people kill five, six thousand black, other black people a year. The only thing that reduces that is the police. When I came into office, uh, blacks were being killed four times more, maybe five, than they are now. I, I didn't stop it by disbanding the police. I didn't stop it with social workers or the New York Times. I stopped it with putting a lot more police officers in Harlem than my predecessors did and taking heat in the white communities for doing that. Because I was really interested mm -hmm. in saving black lives and not just political propaganda or bull. This is tragic. This is where political ideology run amok Cost lives like de Blasio has done to, to, to the city. You will literally well, what do you think? double, triple.
the number of black victims if you take the police out of uh, these neighborhoods. That it's insane. What do you think and of Joe Biden's cool. response? Uh, Joe Biden said that Trump is completely oblivious, then said that 10 to 15 percent of Americans are not good people. I, I, I don't know. He, he, he said the staff First, First donates to a group paying bail uh, for the rioters, meanwhile. And yet, I mean, his staff is paying for some rioters to get out on bail. Uh, and then he said that 10 to 15 percent of Americans are not good people. What do you think he meant by that? <laughs> I th uh, well, I don't know what he meant by it. I don't know much uh, that he means anything by anything. When he said that Trump is oblivious, I mean, that's kind of like looking in the mirror, isn't it? I mean, that's a projection. Uh, I guess even with his deteriorated mental state, he can still project. I mean, the guy is oblivious. If you can't see that this man is sick, then there's something wrong with you. And the, the, we've got a lot of smart people on the other side and a lot of smart people in, the, in, in, the, in his family. And they're running him is so cynical. And it shows so much of a disrespect for the United States of America that you could try to put a man in that mental condition in the White House. It's frightening how um, we've lost any sense of, of, of caring about the country. The man well, mentally can't function. Rudy, you wouldn't hire him. You wouldn't hire him to run your store. I the, wouldn't hire him to run a store. Is there are, there are criticisms coming from. There are criticism coming from your side as well. I mean, there's a report this morning that says former President George W. Bush and Senator Mitt Romney will not support oh. Donald Trump's reelection in November, according to a report this morning. No kidding. Uh, how come I'm not shocked Jeff by that? Jeff Bush said he's not sure how he'll vote, but uh, he's pretty much in line with their thinking as well. So, so there are a few people that are disgruntled. Uh, Romney has, uh, has had a chip on his shoulder from the day he gave a speech four years ago that Trump would take us to war or destroy the country. Or, I mean, go back and look at the predictions. They turn out to all be wrong. Uh, he's voted against everything he can to try to to try to uh, stop his agenda. It's, it's, I know Mitt, and I know the Bushes. I have a different reaction to the two of them. Uh, uh, Mitt's, Mitt, Mitt doesn't know what he believes. I mean, here's a guy that was well, pro-life and then he was pro-choice. Who the hell knows what he is now? The Bushes are hurt. They're in internally hurt. And I, my view is, get over it. I mean, the reality is this country is bigger than your personal anger at Trump. Because he, you know, he took, took off after Jeb and he ruined him. He absolutely ruined him. Mm. Uh, but you don't have to let him ruin you if you just get up and start making rational decisions now. But there's a personal anger. There's a personal anger that's affecting their decisions. And I'm very disappointed in them because the difference between Trump and, and Biden is so palpable for anyone who has Republican values. If what you really believed in all your life, as you, as you ran on, is low taxes... An emphasis on law and order, a, um, a strong foreign policy, maybe not exactly yours, but certainly a strong one, and not all this crazy anarchist views that are all around Biden, and, and they're going to support a man who's mentally incompetent, and they know it. So you've got to get, I appeal to the Bush family, get over your anger and think about the country. All right. We will leave it there. Rudy Giuliani, it's always a pleasure to see you, sir.